this is an example of how to use um, Excel to create a transition matrix from a set of people level data using pivot tables. So the first thing that you want to do is just highlight your student level data set, which I'm doing now using the keys, but can be done with the mouse. So I've highlighted all 182. I go back up to the top. I go to insert. I go to pivot table and select table arrange. Well, that's the data I've highlighted. I want it in a new worksheet. I click OK. And all I need to do now is do some dragging and dropping. So when I do a pivot table, I usually want um, key stage two find rate on the Y axis. So I drop that to row. For the sake of this example, um, I'm going to have the whole grade on the X axis. And I'm going to count by student name. So I'm going to drop that on the sigma values. And you can see immediately um, I've got a very rough um, transition matrix. First thing that I usually do is if I just highlight the data set, actually kind of just put the um, grid lines in. If I go to column labels, um, I'm going to sort Z to A um, because then it goes that's in U to A order as it would be in Rays Online. I'm then just going to adjust the width of these columns to tidy up. So if I just go for 10, that's a bit smarter. And then I generally just center a line. And then to be honest, most of the hard work's done. I can start color coding um, the median line. So three translates to D for three levels of progress. So color green, four to C, to C and five to B. So that's the median line. And then anything above that, um, I can color code blue because that represents four or more levels of progress. And anything Below that, I can just color code as red because that's two or less levels of progress. And so it's actually pretty straightforward to get a transition matrix up and running in Excel using pivot tables pretty quickly. So that was done in a matter of minutes. Um, in Blue Peter style, here's one that I made earlier, which is just a little bit more um, nicely formatted, but the same as what I've been doing previously. Things that I can do, um, this would be very useful as a curriculum leader. If I want to know who my four B's that are on a D, this allows me, if I just double click on that cell, that allows me to drill down into the pupil level data to find out who those students are. If I go back to the original sheet, if I click on the transition matrix, um, I can then also do a whole raft of other things um, such as add filters and etc. Um, but this is just a little demonstration of how we do the basics, which I hope you find useful. Thank you.